Hey everybody, thank you for hanging out for a little bit of drawing today. I'm glad you are here. I hope you're all feeling fine and cherry wine today. Uh, you know what's going to make you feel better? Drawing. That's the ticket. Yep. Drawing makes everybody feel good. It's a meditative experience. It's a relaxing, a relaxing experience. Excuse me. If you're feeling like you have pressure put upon yourself to do a great drawing every time you sit down, well, guess what? You're doing it wrong. Just try and make the drawing that you're meant to make on that day. Don't stress about it. Don't worry about it. The experience, the process of the drawing is more fun than the result I always find. It's that making of marks on a piece of paper or whatever it happens to be. And speaking of which, you're going to have to get yourself a piece of paper and a pencil or a marker or a crayon or a paintbrush that you can dip in some ketchup and then draw with that if you like. Doesn't matter to me. It's up to you. You draw with what makes you feel good, okay? And with that, I think we need to get going with some drawing. Now, let me say hello to some folks in the chat while you get your materials. Let's see who we have here today. We have Ariana, hello, and JD, and Sam, and Sarah, and Mallory, nice to see you, and Joe, Clever, Abdullah, and Corby. Well, hello, everybody. Thanks for hanging out for some drawing. Well, you know what? We're going to keep things simple like we always do. And the secret to these drawings is you have to be able to do three simple things. All you have to be able to do is a straight line. Okay. I know you all can do that. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, by the way. You have to also be able to do zigzags. All right. And those could go like this. They could be attached to one another. They could be long and thin like that. Whatever. You also have to be able to do curvilinear lines. All right. It could be an S curve, a C curve. Could go that way. Could go that way. Could go this way. You get the idea, right, gang? And with that, we are off to the races. We're going to start with a really fun drawing today. It's going to be a simple one. Won't take us too much time. We'll follow that up with an animal and activity where you tell me an animal doing something funny, strange, weird, and I will draw that animal for you, okay? And then we're gonna conclude with an art tip. I'll just give you a simple little tip, something to keep in the back of your noggins there for the next time you sit down to do your own drawing from imagination, okay? All right, let's begin. Now, for this drawing, we're gonna start with a line that is gonna go from right to left, okay? If you wanna draw it from left to right, that's fine with me. And it's gonna be horizontal. It's gonna go a little something like this. Okay, there we go. Just like that. Okay, now how long is that line? You may be wondering, because I'm drawing on a screen right now so you can see it really plain, really clear. If I were drawing this on a piece of paper, I'd probably draw it about hey, hey, three quarters of an inch, okay? which I believe is about 1.8 centimeters or something in that vicinity. So I hope that helps, okay? But you could draw a little bigger than that, or maybe a little smaller if you like to draw small drawings. Doesn't matter, alrighty? Okay, next step, I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see where the distance is between these two lines. I'm actually gonna do that same line again, only a little lower, and I'm gonna carry it out a little bit farther to about here. So watch, I'm gonna start here, and I'm just gonna go like this and stop right about there. So they're pretty tight together, right? They're pretty close to one another. Um, and uh, yeah, they're good buddies. That's why they're so close to one another. And now we're gonna do some short vertical lines. Watch this, I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna go up and two and three. See how they're about evenly spaced like that, more or less? That is the next step. Hmm, I wonder what we're drawing. Well, hopefully you'll enjoy this one. It's a little different from the average, okay? Next, we're going to do some curvilinear lines, and these are going to be looping curvilinear lines. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw them in a rough kind of circular shape going around this way. So watch what I do and then follow along. Are you ready? I'm gonna go like this, up and loop, okay? that up again and loop it again right and another loop you can make a bigger loop if you want here and there you don't have to make them all the same okay like that and there you go okay that is the next step a bunch of nice looping curvilinear lines okay next we're gonna come over here and on this side of those two lines that we drew at the beginning 
I am going to go like this. One, see that? Just cut off those two lines with a vertical line, so perpendicular, right? And then two, leave about that much space. Notice the space I'm leaving is slightly wider than the space we had between these first two horizontal lines. Keep that spacing going. Three, four, and you're almost there. Here comes one more, and this one's gonna be a little shorter, watch. Stop right about there. So one, two, three, four lines in addition to that first line that you drew to interrupt everything there. Okay, now I'm gonna connect them all with a curving line like this, up and over. Are you with me? And here come some bumps, are you ready? One bump, a two bumps, a three bumps, and a four bumps. And there we have an interesting shape there. Hmm. I'm gonna come right over here and I'm going to draw a little C curve. See that? C curve. And now I'm going to make a S curve like that. See, C curve and then a little S curve that way. And then I'm going to carry this up and connect it to here. So watch this, keep it going and connect. Okay, now just two lines coming down like this. One, two. All righty. Now let's look at what we have here so far. Okay, looks good to me. Next, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line up this way. All right, so look, I'm gonna interrupt this area here. I'm gonna come up this way and stop before I get to that area we made with the little loopies there. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, just come down a little bit like that. So what do we have here? It says, someone brushing their teeth, says Ariana. You have got it, Ariana. That is exactly what we're doing. It's gonna be a fun drawing, I like this one. Okay, now we need to draw the face of this person. Now they got a lot of toothpaste all bubbled up there. So what we're going to do is we're gonna look at the width of this for a moment. We're gonna say, okay, I wanna come out wider than this, all right? And I'm gonna make a line out here and a line out here. So the first one, I'm gonna look at the total width of this bubbly shape. I'm gonna come up a little ways like this and I'm just going to draw a line up like that. So you can see about where I started there, just to the right of the outside edge of this bubbly shape here, okay? Come over to the other side. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just go up like that, okay? Then I'm gonna do a little curving shape like this at the bottom, just a little curve, okay? To suggest that that shape is going to change as you move down, okay? And then here, I'm going to put one circle there, give a bunch of space and put another circle there. And then just put funny little irises in the middle for those wide open eyes, okay? Now I'm gonna look at where that eye is. At the top of the eye, I wanna start out here and do a C curve for the ear. Come over to the other side and do the same thing so we have some symmetry going on there. And then I'm gonna take this line and make it a little higher. Okay, so there's a little angle going here. And then I wanna connect those two lines, okay? Just at a little bit of an angle. Because now I'm going to draw this out farther. And then look at this C curve here. It's a shallow C curve connecting there and I'm gonna put a little hat on this guy. So we're gonna come up and over and then down the same way on the other side. And here, I'm going to do an upside down V. Just gonna go up like that and down like that. Look at that. And put a little bump up there for the top of that hat. Now, this is your character. You can do whatever you want. So you can add all kinds of details, however you wish. The hair could be coming out the sides, right? Hair could be coming out the back. You could have no hair at all. You could do a little line like that if you want. A one and a two. That's one way to do it, right? If you want, you can do 
a little curve like that for the ear. Okay. Now, here's another fun thing you can do. Throw some bubbles in there. Just go one, two, right? Do another little one over there maybe. Put a little dot here and there for like really tiny bubbles. Okay. And you can always do the action lines because they're fun. They always add a little bit of energy to whatever you're drawing, right? You know, that's a trick from comics. Whoops, there we go. I like those. And that's it. You have a character here. You can do whatever you want to make it customized. You can draw some lines here to suggest where the sleeve starts for that person. You can draw their whole body if you want. Um, it's your drawing. Do it however you wish. Slide them on over this way and make a little room for the animal and activity game. Now, this is where, again, you suggest to me an animal doing something strange or unexpected or funny. And I will draw that for you in a very short amount of time um, because I'm going to leave a little room at the end for an art tip. And I hope that you had a good toothpaste, toothbrush kid drawing there. And I hope you have some opportunities to make that your own. Um, one more suggestion, if you're into it, you can make a little decoration on the shirt, right? You know, you can use other colors if you want, but I'm just gonna stick with this color. But yeah, you could do something funny on the shirt. Okay. Boop, boop. There's a cool little monster right there. Speaking of Monsters Gang, I want you to see this super cool shirt that I'm wearing today. Wolfie Monster, the one and only Wolfie Monster created by Joey Ellis, pal of mine here from North Carolina. One of my favorite books that came out last year, Wolfie Monster and the Big Bad Pizza Battle. Uh, check that one out if you're into uh, comics and graphic novels and humor, which I think probably most of you are. My kids love it, and um, I'm proud to know Joey, who is a wonderful author and artist. So, let's continue now. I'm looking for your suggestions in the chat for an animal and activity. We have a tiger playing video games, a peacock painting its nails, a dog surfing, a hedgehog adjusting a carburetor. Holy cow, what a cool idea, Santaji. Uh, draw a gorilla knitting a sweater. We just drew a gorilla running to catch a bus recently, so I like that one. But we're, I'm gonna a lion in drag. Oh, that's pretty funny. A hedgehog adjusting a carpet. I read that one. Sorry. Um, a snake blowing bubbles. A tiger playing video games. A platypus playing saxophone. A bear painting at an easel. We did that, didn't we? We did something with a bear just recently. What was it doing? I can't remember. A weasel in a haystack having fall fun. A kangaroo rollerblading. A cat in space. How about drawing a kitten that befriends a giraffe? A deer on a motorcycle? Oh, uh, let's see. Two rats fighting over a slice of pizza. A squirrel doing the Watusi dance. Holy cow. How am I going to choose from all these crazy ideas? Um... I like Astronaut Kitty, a cat in space, so I'm going to draw that. Uh, but hold on to all these other ideas because we're back again tomorrow, same time for more drawing, and every week, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, let's see what I can do here. So I'm going to grab a lighter blue color for my sketch, like I always do. And let's get this on the road here. Let's see, da, 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 da. So I'm going to have my space helmet here. Okay. And we're gonna have our little kitty sort of floating out here in space. The one leg kind of forward, the other leg kind of back like this. There are space boots. I had, um, the cool experience of seeing an exhibit of spacesuits, NASA spacesuits, from over the years. When I was out in San Francisco for work last year, they had at the 
San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, a cool exhibit of um, all kinds of art from, from space, like NASA drawings that the artists had done that were sort of like some guesses as to what life could like it, uh, look like in the future when we're able to do interplanetary travel and maybe, you know, make some homes on other planets or whatnot. I mean, it was, it was pretty out there, all that stuff, but it was really fun to look at in some kind of panel here. I don't, I don't know what spacesuits look like, you know, I'm just gonna wing it here, gang. Maybe some pockets on the, on the legs, you know? Um, gotta have room for a tail, because that's just funny. Have the tail sticking out. By the way, it reminds me of another book series that I enjoy. It's uh, Astro Kitty, I think. No, Professor Astro Cat. That's it, Astro Cat. Um, I believe the author's name is, is Ben Newman. Help me out in the chat, guys, if you know what I'm talking about. Ast Professor Astrocat. That's it. Professor Astrocat, I think, is what it's called. Educational stuff for the kiddos. All right, there's our kitty. out there floating in space doing whatever he's supposed to be doing make sure we give him some solid looking spacesuit kind of stuff here and uh, how do you all feel about that sketch I think we're in okay shape here I don't know what do you think How's that looking? All right, so we won't have this showing, obviously, but uh, got to draw through to make stuff work. I think I'll have a nice big reflection right there. So part of that year will be sort of obscured by that. That'll be nice. Okay, let's do it. I like this. I think we're in pretty decent shape here. So I'll knock that back just a hair. And here we go with some line art right over the top of it. Alrighty. A kitty nose there. And put some little dots there for the old whiskers, right? Some little kitty cat ears. I love cats. It's too bad I'm allergic to them. I wasn't allergic when I was a kid. I don't know what happened. I got older and suddenly that was it. I was allergic to cats. What a shame. All right, come around here. And up this way. And connect that. Oops, I just bumped my my microphone with my pen I like these sort of 1950s kind of spacesuit designs anybody watch that cool uh, launch of from um, SpaceX a few months ago that was sweet it, it really looked like something out of a sci-fi film. I mean, the control panels were so simple. They just had a couple of screens, basically. Pretty amazing. Very different from the design of things, you know, when we first were getting into space travel, right? Pretty different, I'd say. Remember when you're drawing stuff like this, like I have to keep those curves going for the shape of the of the body, the torso, right? Like I'm remembering that 
the figure is tilting away from me. So I'm not going to draw a straight line um, for the cat there because it's like that body is tilting away from me. Same here. So I go curve, up, curve, you know, just keeping in mind how things are attached uh, to the the torso, which is a a form that has volume, right? It's It's not a flat thing. I'm trying to create the illusion of three dimensions here. Okay. A little tail coming out there and up we go. Can add a little shadow back there. Let's put that little planet in the background. That's always a fun way to give some context. Got some lines of like, I don't know, space lines, whatever you want to call them, squiggly things, galaxies and whatnot. <laughs> space cat. Uh -huh. A few more details. Maybe some seams, you know, that kind of gives the idea that something's sewn on you know, or attached to um, one piece of fabric attached to another, that kind of thing, right? A few more little details. Here we go. And let's hide that sketch for a moment and see how we did. All righty. There is our crazy cat in space doing space cat stuff. Okay. Are you all ready for a short art tip? I believe you are. So we'll slide him over here. We got room for the art tip in the middle. Slide our toothbrushing character over this way. And uh, here. Let me talk to you all about overlapping. Okay, what is that? What am I talking about? Um, when you're drawing your next composition, when you're drawing anything, uh, think about placing objects in front of other objects or behind other objects to add a little bit more depth and interest to what it is that you're drawing. So for example, I could draw a little still life here. I got a little bottle of vino. And maybe there's an apple, right? And maybe there's like some kind of bowl kind of shape, right? Whatever. Now that could be a drawing, but eh, it's so flat. I don't want to do that. We don't want it to be flat. What can you do? Arrange objects in front of one another. Create some depth. Give the eye somewhere to move, not just from left to right, but forward and backwards. So let's take that apple, stick it here, front and center, okay? And then let's uh, take that bowl, let me put it back here, let me say, all right, that bowl's over there. Okay, give it a little dimension there. And maybe then behind both of them is that bottle. Let me say, okay, there. And just like that, we have a different arrangement of these forms that suddenly becomes much more interesting for the viewer than this, right? Overlapping. Um, same with figures, right? Do that with your figures. Make sure that you have a figure if they're in an environment. Place things in front of them, behind them. Create, uh, you know, if I want to keep going with this, you know, I just could put a little shape back here. We don't know what that is, but. Just the fact that it's in front of, the bottle's in front of it, gives us even more depth. And even if I'm just, you know, suggesting that there's something back there, we don't know what it is. We're just adding depth to the drawing, okay? So think about shapes that overlap and see how that will improve your work. You'd be surprised. I think you'll uh, be quite 
pleased with what that does for your work. Um, let's see, so any more comments from our friends here before we go today? Uh, Will Robinson, oh, we're talking about, yeah, we're, I guess because I was drawing the cat in space, we're talking about some uh, space shows, cool. Um, Whoops, Corey, I missed your suggestion. That's a funny one, a, a waffle eating pancakes. I love it. Well, all right, gang, I hope you had a good time. I sure did. So everybody, please take care of yourselves, of each other, and remember, as always, to please be kind. I'll see you again here tomorrow. Same time, we're going to do some drawing together. So until then, ciao for now.